Hey everybody, it's Charles, your hobby hero, and today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 books that I'm looking to add to my personal collection. But before we get started, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it. Put out regular content about the hobbies that I love the most. Now, these 10 books aren't just any 10 books. These are the 10 books that I have earmarked to put my attention on and trying to get them as soon as possible. And we'll go over why each one of these books is kind of in my higher priority books to add to my PC. Now, these are books that, again, I want to add to my personal collection. So there may be other books out there that kind of fit into these same categories. And you may be asking why they're not on the list. They're just not a fit for me personally. But I do want to cover the ones that I am looking forward to getting. And I've got a number from number 10 all the way down to number one, which is my highest priority book to get. So first book on this list is going to be Super Mario Brothers number one from 1990. Now it's important to note that this is not the first appearance of the Super Mario Brothers, but this is the first solo series featuring the Mario Brothers. Uh, now if you're not aware, Nintendo has recently produced or purchased a production company for projects and there is actually a Mario movie already in production which is a big reason why this one is as low on the list as it is. I think a lot of this book has already jumped to uh, its kind of higher point right now. I do think it will cool off as the movie comes out but I do think we're going to see future projects involving the Mario Brothers and a lot more growing that brand from Nintendo. So I want to try to get this book in my collection before it's completely out of reach. Recent solds for this particular book uh, in a 9.8 are $2,999 with the highest uh, recorded sale for this particular book at $3,100 back in 2021. So like I said, this book is kind of at its peak right now. So I'm kind of hoping it does cool off a little bit, uh, but it definitely is a book I want to get for a long-term hold in my personal collection. All right, number nine on the list is Dragon Ball number one by Viz Comics from 1998. This is the first appearance of Goku in his kid form in an American comic book. Now, uh, kind of part and parcel with this one, another one I wouldn't mind having is the Dragon Ball Z number one, uh, which is the first appearance of the Dragon Ball Z in an American comic book. But as far as characters go, this is Goku's uh, considered Goku's first appearance in American comics. Uh, there is a new Dragon Ball Z movie set to release in August of 2022, so this book's gotten a little bit of hype there, but it's actually been a, a while since the show has been on the air, and it hasn't happened since 2009 where they put a live action production in place. There are a lot of fan-made live action films of this particular uh, show that's out there. I do think it's only a matter of time before a studio... Uh, whether it be Amazon, whether it be Apple TV, one of these content-hungry streaming services is going to take another shot at making a live-action adaption of this. And I want to make sure that I have these books in my PC before that comes out. Uh, most recent uh, sale of a 9.8 was $1,280 for this particular book. Um, so again, not a small book, but one that I want for my personal collection before this becomes any more mainstream than Dragon Ball Z already is. All right, number eight on the list uh, is Earthworm Jim number one. Now, I have a copy of this in my personal collection already. It's the copy that I bought way back in 1995, uh, but it's not a great high-grade copy, probably like 8.85 range, and I would like to get a 9.8 copy in my collection. This is the first appearance of Earthworm Jim in a comics in a Marvel Absurd miniseries. Uh, there is currently a new game in development and a new TV series in development. This game was a peak game in the 90s, and I think a lot of that nostalgia factor will help uh, increase the sales of it. The last and most recent sale of a 9.8 was $550, with a high sale of this book of $1,140 back in April of 2022. So this book can support a higher price than it's at right now, and with a lot of new content coming out for it, I do think it could reinvigorate and you know reactivate that nostalgia for a lot of those old collectors. All right, number seven on my list is God of War, number one from 2010. Uh, there is a live uh, action adaption uh, in works for Amazon that's coming out for this particular pro uh, property. There's also a new game dropping at the end of this year. This is a game that uh, I grew up with uh, back when I was a kid. There's a lot of expansions, a lot of people who have grown up with God of War franchise. 
the newer franchise and the movie is definitely appealing to a older audience that may have grown up with the original series so i do think you're going to have a lot of opportunities to grow this uh, series as well uh, the last sold 9.8 copy of this book was $380 with a high sale in 2021 of $450. Alright, number six on my list is Tech Jacket number one from 2010. This is the first appearance of Image's Tech Jacket character. Great character, by the way. It's also an early five-page preview of Invincible. Uh, so there were a number of books that had a five-page preview of Invincible before Invincible number one actually came out. This was one of those books. This is the only book really in there that has a significant key in it as well, which is the appearance of Tech, ja Tech Jacket. With the success of the Invincible series on Amazon, one, this book is just naturally going to grow in value because of that five-page Invincible preview. But two, I think they could start looking and examining other properties inside of the Invincible world, Tech Jacket being one of those, Wolfman possibly being one of those. I think it's a strong character in contention for a spinoff series, which is another reason why I really would like to get this book in my PC. Um, there are no recent recorded sales of a 9.8, but the lowest listed uh, copy of a 9.8 right now is currently $315 plus shipping. All right, that brings us to number five on the list, which is Gargoyles number one from 1995. Now I actually have the Gargoyles number one and a 9.8 from the 2000. And six Slave Labor series, but I would like to get the 1995 one as well. This was one of the most popular. Uh, <clears throat> this was one of the most popular cartoons coming out of the 90s. There have been a ton of proposed projects on this particular franchise. Some as recently as 2022. I think, especially with Disney inside of a streaming service now, that it is inevitable that we are eventually going to get a reboot of this, either as a series or as a live action movie. Something is going to come from this Gargoyles TV show. It's just a matter of time before that happens. And for me, I grew up with the cartoon and I would like to get not only the, the copy that I have, but the original Gargoyles number one from 1995 as well. Current last sold is $265 for a 9.8 with a high sale of this book back in 2021 of $810. So it definitely can support higher price for it if there's news coming out about future projects. All right, number four on my list is Knights of the Old Republic, number nine from 2006. This is the first appearance of the character known as Revan. Now, if you played the video games, you know who this character is. I love the video games. I bought an Xbox originally just to play Knights of the Old Republic. I love that franchise. I love the character you play as, which is Revan. Disney has already confirmed an old Republic, uh, Knights of the Old Republic projects are coming, and Riven is coming. I think it's only a matter of time before he becomes mainstream. Uh, already a very popular character inside the Old Republic canon, and I can't wait to see what this book does after the general public just gets exposed to this particular character. Uh, last 9.8 sale was $890, with a high sale of $2,500 back in 2020. Uh, I think that's when an original uh, talks of the Old Republic projects were getting launched. This is absolutely the keystone character from that line, and definitely a book I want in a 9.8 in my personal collection. Number three on my list is Zelda number one from the 1990 Valiant series. So it's another one of the Nintendo properties. Uh, it's the, not the first appearance, but the first solo series featuring Zelda and Link. This is what I believe will be one of the first projects Nintendo targets whenever they get their studio up and running. They've already got a Mario product. Or project underway. They've already got some Pokemon ones underway. I do think this is the next big title that they would be looking at to launch. And with the way that the Zelda franchise is set up, there's just so much content that you could do there for a long running series, for multiple series slash movie tie-ins. There's just a lot of great characters that are inside that world uh, and just an absolutely gorgeous cover. Uh, that very reminiscent of like the old NES and Super NES uh, covers for the video games. The last sale on a 9.8 for this particular book was $1,950 with a high sale of $2,250 back in 2021. 
All right, number two on my list is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures number one from 1988. Now, I have owned a number of copies of this particular book. I have never owned it in a 9.8, though. Uh, there's a new live-action project in work for this. There's a new animated project in works for it. They just had a very successful video game launch on the Switch for this particular uh, franchise. It is just a... I, I, when you talk about you know 90s cartoons and 80s cartoons, like this one stands out above all the other ones. It's had a number of reboots, it's had a number of animated series, and they just continue to do it because people keep wanting the content here. Uh, comic book wise, you know you see continual highs uh, for your original series. The Last Ronin was a huge success when it came out. But this for me is what embodies the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to me because I grew up with the cartoon. Uh, now, would I love to own a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one and a 9.8? Absolutely. Uh, is that worth nearly as much as a house? Absolutely. For me, this is the one that I really want in my PC with a last sale of a 9.8 being $655 and a high sale of $1,700 in 2021. All right, and for the number one book that I want to add to my collection, that is going to be Heir to the Empire number one from 1995. I do already have this in a 9.4 in my collection. I would love to upgrade it to the 9.8 in a newsstand. Um, but, this is, but this is the first appearance of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Thrawn, in my opinion, is one of the best villains, aside from Vader, that is in the entire Star Wars universe. And he has already been confirmed to be the main villain for the new Ahsoka series that's coming out next year. And I want to make sure that I can get this book as rare as it is and as hard to find as it is. I would love to snag this book for my personal collection before that series comes out or before they start teasing the actual character design of Grand Admiral Thrawn. I think this is a character that people are absolutely going to fall in love with on the screen. He was for me in Rebels whenever he was portrayed there and in the comic book universe he's always been portrayed as a very strong smart and compelling villain i think people are absolutely going to love this character when he comes in i want to try to get mine upgraded before that happens the last sale of a 9.8 on a non-newsstand was 1300 dollars uh, with a high sale of a non-newsstand again for 2300 dollars so that is my list of top 10 books that i want to add to my pc coming up in the near future let me know in the comment section below what books you guys are looking for and why. And until next time, guys, Hobby Hero, out.